Hey guys, welcome to another commentary done by Diggity. This is Fighting Spirit Mania, round two, smattering of games before I dive into the bulk of round three. This is DSA QWE, who is a Croatian player, also known as Lockdog, uh, from Team SAS. He's going up against uh, Jumper, an American Protoss in the upper left hand corner. I want to color swap this. Yeah, so Jumper is going to be the blue Protoss upper left. Very creative Protoss player. He became really active after kind of the post StarCraft II era and has really, he's fun to watch in my opinion. So check out his stream. He's a very creative player and it's just, I don't know. He's got kind of that bouncy style of play. That's just fun to watch. Uh, high energy. Upright and Gwinner, we had, uh, yeah, Red Protoss, already mentioned it. Um, and this is going to be my first time seeing him. Uh, I have, I, seeing this name, I'm like, oh, that has to be like a hidden ID, but apparently not. Who knew? Croatian player. I know nothing about DSA's play style, anything. What I do know about Jumper is that, yeah, he likes he likes being cerebral. He likes being tricksy. He will do all sorts of entertaining things, and that is that will happen in his versus Protoss play as well. Uh, it looks like he's setting up to go ahead and open up for a one gate, one gate on the opposite side thus far so nothing crazy as far as proxy gateways it looks like dsa is going to go ahead and get initial scout with that probe moving to the upper left hand corner initially jumper holding his probe back in the base <clears throat> unfortunately with the timing of this jumper will know that it's will likely know that it's not cross spine as far as like mental meta but uh, anyway I've, oh double gateway opener for jumper this is actually another bit of things i was tempted to do some of jumper's games and I still might end up doing them because I know that he, and it'll be interesting to see like how long the cheese, because being a more creative, having the potential to do cheesy play players where they make like an art style of it, looks like a double gateway on the opposite side as well, by the way. Initial zealots being, and this is, looks like Jumper is going to be back a zealot a little bit because I think this zealot was created before the second gateway. Probe scout wandering in, it looks like Jumper is going to go ahead and wander in and get his own probe scout. Guys are not being taken by either player. So this could come down to some micromanagement between both of them. And as far as the initial zealot, the initial zealot going to go ahead and try to chase down Jumper's probe. Oftentimes, in these sort of situations, I feel like it's who takes the initiative. Oftentimes, end up ends up a, a little bit ahead. Although the question is, is what direction do you want to take the initiative? It looks like a simulator is being grabbed from both players. A little bit of a faster simulator from Jumper. Things are looking about dead even. Jumper up a probe, I think maybe because of uh, Zealot timing builds and things like that. But it's going to be, especially with the double, is DSA going to get aggressive? So he's he's paused on Zealot production. He's got his initial three Zealots. He's got one Zealot chasing this probe around. Gone ahead and plopped down that Cybernetic score. Cybernetic score, yeah, just this is going to be dead even. So I think it's going to come down to micromanagement. Right now, DSA is probe doing a better job. Well, I take it back. There's There hasn't been any shield damage here. This probe isn't getting it back out, potentially, because of these zealots along the line. They can try to move their way out. Three zealots on this corner. I think still three zealots on this corner. So we're going to have to wait to see any variation play, potentially, after initial Dragoons are created. And I'm wondering if Jumper, what he's going to do, knowing his MO. He's, he's definitely hidden this Cybernetic Core in the upper left-hand corner for a reason. Is he going to try to show range and then cancel it and maybe switch back to something else? Two Dragoons being produced. Two Dragoons being produced. Both sides of things. No range being... Well, DSA doesn't have the minerals quite yet. And this is going to be the, the critical bit. Is, is Does range get upgraded or not? Additional pylon along the corner. It looks like range still... Yeah, not being built. This probe going to exit. Jumper keeping his probe in. Range is being upgraded from DSA. No range from Jumper. So he's going to see potentially either an additional Dragoon... A little bit earlier, or we're going to see some variation in tech. Uh, probe gets taken out. That is going to even up the probe count overall. And it looks like range is not getting canceled. For, so DSA just wants to play it straight up from that regard. But what that is going to do, so a robotic facility being planted. I assume we're going to see Reaver into expansion here. Potentially from Jumper. These two Dragoons getting aggressive moving forward. With the range... It is possible. We'll see if DSA gets kind of eyes on this and realizes the situation overall. With the range upgrade coming online, he is going to be able to have a bit of an advantage, but he's got 
And I think he just maybe wants these Dragoons up close so he can maybe see the natural expansion and then escape. Four Dragoons nearby for closer reinforcement point. We are seeing a robotics facility, but keep in mind that's going to come out a little bit later from DSA. And there's also the possibility that Jumper would do something crazy, like go for a shuttle to start, but I assume not. I gotta assume that he's gonna go Reaver, now getting range behind this. But DSA does have an opportunity, which would it would be a little bit challenging if he wanted to go ahead and field forward to delay the natural expansion by just having kind of troops planted there, and he is going shuttle. This is the sort of stuff that Jumper pulls. So going shuttle to start, there are a lot of troops left at home base. We'll see how he decides to play it. Is he just going to try to get Zealots in the main and try to get economic play from there? Robotic support bay to follow. So he... So let's see how this ends up playing out for him. Currently just holding up, trying to deny information. Probe going to wander out. DSA sees that there's no natural expansion. So at least he has eyes there. The Zealots and Dragoons moving out. And here's the thing. DSA might be thinking, okay, maybe now he's going for his natural. Or if a DSA has not made any movements to go ahead and grab his expansion, he's instead gone Observer first to go ahead and get information. The Observer is not going to help against this initial Reaver. However, I believe without a bit of bad luck that DSA is going to be able to get eyes on this Reaver and track it down at the very least. And he's got a lot of troops at home base. To potentially defend against this jumper looks like he is going to go ahead and grab that nexus so rather i, I assume he's not going to get aggressive with the shuttle especially without shuttle speed and shuttle speed is not upgrading so mostly going to utilize the shuttle to be defensive with that reaver inside his base in the meantime an expansion being grabbed for dsa as well right now jumper behind four probes Weaver is there, and never mind, Jumper, rather than playing it defensively, is getting aggressive. DSA sees it with his scouting Dragoons, taking a bit of free fire. And DSA now currently down Reavers, and those Zealot positioning, particularly getting boxed into this gap, that could be... So he'll have eyes on the Reaver. But that's not going to prevent a lot of pot shots, potentially, at Dragoons latently on the field. Does have that pylon in the way. Yeah, and the Reaver just taking some free shots. As long as Jumper positions this well, moving into the natural. Counter Reaver is there, but it's on the high ground, and it's very exposed comparatively. A great shot on the Dragoon line, though. The Reaver now eating some fire. It looks like the Dragoon's getting some good spread to the north, however. And Jumper loses that shuttle. Looks like he's going to lose the Reaver. The closer reinforcement point, and also some nice stutter stepping back, DSA able to defend, and also upper reaver in that actual expansion. So that shuttle difference was a difference in troop count. The close reinforcement point, and also some nice, I, I really liked how DSA kind of moved into his natural expansion and kind of allowed that better concavity and forced Jumper to come to him. There is a second reaver at this natural. DSA up six probes now, two reavers at the natural. Also has observers. The observer going to go ahead and wander forward and see what it, what's here. DSA doesn't need to get aggressive, but he can. Looks like he's going to get shuttle speed. Shuttle speed also upgrading for jumper. And jumper tacking on some additional gateways. To try to make up the difference. However, DSA is going to be able to see all of this. If he wanders into the main. Currently, he's playing it passively and not looking at the main. Jumper moving out again. Potentially wants a distractionary force. He's going to be light on units to try to defend this, but maybe he can thread. And he's doing this well before shuttle speed's finished, so maybe he potentially... Yeah, and two Dragoons are already there, so trying to be distracting. A Zealot might get taken out here. But DSA not dissuaded with the defense force of Dragoons at that natural. The Reaver closing the gap, looking to swing around. This is Danger Town, though. Jumper taking huge risks with this. The Dragoon's starting to move in to go ahead and engage this. Disrupting some mining at the main, which is going to be critical. DSA way up. And is he going to be able to escape with the shuttle? The shuttle does manage to make its way out. The Observer is seeing all of these gateways in the meantime. 
and shuttle speed's just about to finish, so we might be able to make a second sweep. Two Reavers holding the front against the Dragoons that are there. So Jumper able at least to get some mining disruption, but he's currently paused any sort of probes. So he's going to basically go for one big punch and try to get it that way. The Dragoons moving to the south. Did they manage to pick up? No, the shuttle's out of position. Oh! Wasting a couple Reaver Scarabs. Took some damage. Able to get Splash on the two Reavers there. The Probe's also getting some mining disruption. Do you say way up in supply right now? But keep in mind, a lot of that is in Probes. He's got four Gateways versus the six. So basically, Jumper needs to push in with this next attack. Win the game from there. Otherwise, he's going to be in trouble. But he's also going to have to deal with a Reaver and a Dragoon that are going for an end-around attack. Not sure that that makes a big difference. Being that Jumper wants to end the game with just a big Dragoon Reaver push from the front. The, Re the Dragoon's currently a little bit spread out. The Reaver's now slow pushing. Going to go ahead and take out some forward pylons. A drop at the natural expansion. Jumper does not see it. It's going to end up losing a lot of probes. Continuing to press at the front. And just as basically... Okay, finally some Dragoons being dedicated to that, but lost a lot of mine time. It looks like that Reaver was scooped up, but that's Reaver not on the forward attack. DSA pushing that bridge. Jumper having some trouble breaching it. Reinforcements are not coming their way across. And Jumper looks like he's backing up a little bit. The Dragoon finally taking care of it at his natural, but right now down a huge amount of supply... Another shuttle moving in, though. Is he going to be able to even it up with this? This is jumper-style play right here. Able to obliterate a lot of probes. Still behind in the probe count, but able to get another shot off. And scoop up the Reaver. That evens things up quite a bit. The Dragoons look like, well, might have eaten a little bit of fire on their way back across. Might have been able to take something out. The Reaver's still in the shuttle at the natural. Was the shuttle taken out? I think the... I'm not sure if the shuttle was taken out or not. I think not. Looks like it made it way its way back to the main. But Jumper, natural expansion a little bit thin. DSA looking... Well, it looks like he pocketed some probes. Maybe potentially going to grab that third eventually. Another drop. Huge hit! And all the gains that Jumper had have now been lost. With a counter-reaver shot, the shuttle taking a little bit of fire. But now Jumper is in an all-in situation where if he wasn't dedicated before... He is, I think, dedicated now. He needs to go. He needs to go. Down half probes is continuing to build things. Actually, I wouldn't be shocked knowing Jumper to even like pull probes off the line, go for an attack in this sort of situation. Five gateways in the background. Templar archives coming online. Level and weapons about halfway finished. Jumper scooting up some zealots. Everything else. Did he add Zealot Lake Speed? I do not believe so. He's got his own Templar Archives online. I don't think... I think the game's going to be over before that's really a factor, though. The shuttle, realizing the situation, and scooting its way back across the southern border. Is it going to come back in time? Two Reavers here for Jumper. Or three Reavers, though, defensively for DSA on the front. So Jumper's got his work cut out for him. DSA in a comfortable position. Just needs to defend this well. And he will take this game one. One Reaver get taken out nearly immediately. The Dragoon's getting peeled off. It looks like the rest of this attack force not fully online. And delayed in the midst of this. All the Reavers wiped out now. DSA still has remaining Reavers. The Dragoon's trying to press into this. The Zealot's having some trouble across that bridge. And honestly, I think that might have been the GG moment. Jumper now boxed back to two bases. Low on probes. Had cut probes to build a lot of Dragoons. And more Reavers are being fielded. Looks like, two, in fact, enough so that DSA feels comfortable enough moving forward with this. And it looks like DSA also going to go ahead and grab his third, potentially. Double forge behind this. Jumper, I, maybe he was hoping for... But yeah, that's not going to happen, though. These probes, oof, getting wiped out. A shuttle, like a counter shuttle, has nothing trying to ward that back. And Jumper is probe count half that of DSA's. DSA with a sizable supply lead. And momentarily, as soon as he has 400 minerals, can go ahead and take that expansion, to be honest. Jumper moving out with a shuttle once more. My bad on the stream title, by the way, everybody. 
Double photon cannons being dropped for DSA. Yeah, all he has to do is shell up, play defensively, and he'll be fine. Jumper trying to drop. There's cannons there. Is it going to be a hit? Dud. Already High Templar there, and Psystorm just finishing. Third base being grabbed. And that shuttle looking to maybe do some additional work. Jumper is pinned into his base. He can take a risky third. He has plenty of High Templar himself. He's a ways off Psystorm. Trying to go for double upgrades. I don't know that there's a timing out of this. His main's just about mined out. The main is mined out on the opposite corner as well. But DSA in a much stronger economic position. Getting another drop of the natural expansion. Looks like that's going to be a dud, but that's still disrupted mining time at the one functional base. Dragoon's moving forward. The shuttle trying to ward this off. It looks like the observer pinned to that shuttle at the very least. But this third base now online. DSA just needs to saturate it. He's got lots of Dragoons to go ahead and make that. He's got superior gateway count. He's got superior probe count. Is mining much better. Jumper moving out. Maybe if he can get a fantastic engage. A lucky engage. Oh, there's not an observer with this attack force either. Ooh, that shuttle getting potentially picked off. High Templar are in that. Might be able to drop short. Looks like some Dark Templar are making their way to the north. Just to deny a third base, potentially. And again, engaging over the bridge, which is not... He's lucky there's not Psystorm right here. The Dragoon's eating a lot of fire. The High Templar trying to get there. Now dropping some Psystorm over that. A bit of a whiff for DSA opposite line, but... A lot of these troops getting wiped out. So good side storm over the Reavers. Jumper still trying to press this forward, but again, still at a huge supply deficit to try to make it happen. The shuttle's still nearby, potentially to drop additional Reavers in the midst of this. Trying to force things. A nice side storm on the Dragoons to the right. More side storm on the incoming defense force, but Jumper's troops are whittling. Still streaming out additional attack forces, but I think that is going to be all she wrote. She's got... Yeah, there's a handful of troops trying to move in. Another side storm drop, obliterating everything at the natural. That would make... That's a series of side storms that would make Thor proud right there. Dragoons still eating some side storm here and there. Jumper, but this is all she wrote. Jumper down to 17 probes has, is just kind of trying to stick in this match at this stage. Dragoon, Dragoon's chasing down High Templar for him. Expecting a GG at some point. Did he cancel the upgrades? I'm not even sure that the upgrade... Maybe they finished in the midst of this. Never mind. It looks like the upgrades did finish. But he has zero... He has four probes. Nothing else. Three bases. I'm actually a little bit shocked he is not GG'd at this stage. Maybe just trying to... Knowing that it's a long series trying to wear his opponent out. Just going to dive in with what he's got left, which is two High Templar, and it looks like six Dragoons. Reaver's being dropped. Nice Psy Storm on that corner. But it's, yeah, this is kind of a, a cleanup operation. Jumper just trying to do what he can. This is kind of like, let's extract as much enjoyment as we can out of this. Three o'clock base, well saturated. Third gas being grabbed. More Reavers and Dragoons. Yeah, just seeing what he can... I think he's just trying to get that. It's like he wants to see that kill count. It's like you changed the game. It's like, what's the kill count you can get? GG called both directions. Very manner. So game one goes to DSA. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Nice to see DSA's uh, play here and there. Thank you guys for listening.